right. Yeah, so since a very early age, you, you show this signs of deep curiosity. Like you, when you were going to Vienna and going to this, buying this, this chemicals, and then when you were in high school, you were playing mm -hmm. around with these computers, and like whatever you, you were doing, you were doing great stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, What do you think that allow you to do those type of things? Because that's not necessarily a, you know, quote unquote, normal thing, right? So, so what do you think? Okay, happened? so I'm gonna dispute that and actually okay. say that is normal in children. I mean, if you look at, uh, try, remember, I mean, you guys are exploratory as well, right? Otherwise, you wouldn't be doing this. Uh, and, uh, but if you think back at, you know, like all the kids you knew, that's what kids do. They like to run around and try weird stuff. And, you know, they're not really worried about whether something is new or not. And I think what happens is that uh, some people ha have the luxury of maintaining this <laughs> into their older life. Mm -hmm. And, and other people don't have the luxury. It's often not even that they wouldn't do it. or But, you know, you get a job and it's kind of more of a day job that you've got to do as, as opposed to something that's fun, right? And, and then you kind of sink into this uh, you know, thing where you just, you know, you have that life where you do that and you get home and you're tired and you know, whatever. And so that can take creativity away in the end. But I actually think uh, this, you know, creativity and just playing around with different stuff is very natural for most people, certainly when they're young. And then I think it kind of gets driven out of us. <laughs> <laughs> mm. with the daily rat race or whatever you want to right. call it. Um, but I think people have that capacity and people can revive that capacity if they want to. Uh, like often, right, people go like, oh, I should do this, but I don't have the time right now. So that's so I, I do the opposite. I say, oh, I should do this. Forget the other thing, I'm doing this. Right. <laughs> this is, you know, <clears throat> and I think just maintaining that attitude. Um, so I guess some people would say I have a short attention span, therefore, right, because it's pretty easy to distract me and get to do something else. Like Suzanne that I mentioned, right? You just ask her like, hey, do you want to do a 250 mile bike ride in Iowa? And like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even if she had something else probably planned. Uh, so I think some people just have that attitude and, and, uh, and some people sort of lose it eventually. But, but uh, I think most people actually can do that mm. if, they, if they want to. But you have to kind of, as you get older, you have to maybe spend a little bit more time wanting to do it because there's so many other obligations and things that come into your life that, that could easily distract from being distracted. Hmm. Yeah, no, I think I think it's true. It, it just, for some reason, when, once you get a little older, it just takes a lot more effort. And I think there's something very beautiful about, okay, I want to do this project and like, I'm, I'm going to do it. So like yesterday, I mean, not yesterday, last week, last Friday, we spent the whole day coding, mm -hmm. uh, taking images from the uh, James Webb telescope mm -hmm. and making a website. Mm -hmm. Why? It's just cool, right? Just for fun, but yeah, because yeah, they're yeah. cool images, so let's yeah. show them. Yeah. <laughs> but um, it, it, for some reason, like it, there's like this notion of like, oh, like you have a short attention span, like oh, you're not being very focused, you're not being very diligent, and it just for some reason, like being curious and trying different things, you be, it becomes a bad sign. Uh, it becomes a bad quality of a person. That's right. So I think sometimes our society almost treats this like something that's like, as you said, it's not normal. But I think it is actually normal, and it's driven out of people in the end. And it's understandable, right? Because you have work to do, you have a family, and, and these are all important things that you right. need to devote time to. So it's very easy then to have a list of, you know, just I need to do this, 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 and this, and then there's just no time left at the end. And honestly, actually, the only way that I can deal with it is literally scheduling. So I, I, these days I have to schedule like that I'm gonna not do anything. <laughs> so I have like blocks of time free on my calendar. And you know, if somebody tells me, well, can we have a committee meeting? It's like, nope, can't, I'm busy even though I'm going to do something you know, uh, interesting <laughs> that I'm <laughs> planning at, at that time. Because you could always say, oh, I'm going to cancel that, right? Because do I need to go on that bike ride or do they need to make that website? And the answer is, no, I don't need to right now. So I could just say yes. Right. And so you have to just learn to actually say no. <laughs> and, you know, and you still end up doing plenty of useful stuff that works you know, in the community and, and helps with all the other things that you're uh, dealing with. But you need to leave that time to just do stuff for yourself that's fun and interesting and that you want to do randomly or because friend, some friend asks you, things like that. So, um, yeah, so you were doing 